Hi, if you've been lucky enough to stumble across this video and you've been looking for videos and photos of plumbing disasters, then well done, look no more. Please do subscribe to our channel and visit our Facebook and our Twitter and all that sort of stuff. I hope you enjoy the video. Oh, and yes, Masterlers. I hope I'm saying your name right and stand up straight when I'm talking to you. Any man in the Navy should know when he's being spoken to by the dude from Plumber Parts, then he should stand up straight. <laughs> Mate, you've got some absolutely class friends out there. We've got a lad who uh, Facebook messaged us called Daniel Dainty. I think he's one of your mates, I hope he is. I hope I haven't got it wrong. He said, hi, please read this. Hi James, my mate watches every episode. That's you, okay. Uh, and literally has a man crush on you. Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, my missus is gonna come and get you. And Jack, basically he goes on to say, he's had a proper Shit yeah. And it would be great if you could look at my friends and just write him a message saying hi and cheers for watching. His name is Alex Masterlairs. I hope I've got your name right there, Alex. You will literally make his year. Well, mate, I hope that is true because obviously there's not a lot left of the year. Uh, and, you know, if you've had a real bad year, man, I hope that the Plumber Parts videos at least maybe brighten up your day a little bit to make it a little bit better. Uh, and also, mate, you've got some class friends there. Dan obviously cares quite a lot about you. <laughs> and all that so there we go so i hope you like that so everyone i hope you enjoyed this video and remember to hold tight plumberparts.co.uk honest reviews and advice hold tight and welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video i'm here uh we're gonna go up in this little plane and just fly around yeah so i thought while i was up there might as well uh, answer a couple of questions but first let's have a nice look around this plane eh quite interesting <laughs> you can set that that one to ground level here so we yeah. know how high above the airfield we are, that's yeah. above sea level. Yeah. And that will actually report that height on there, to, on yeah. the radar screen, yeah. once we get going. And then we're ready to start. Is that that button there? That button there is the start of the button. Am I allowed to press that? Press that, now? Yeah, go on. First up, Alan Goldsmith comes in with a photo of a radiator that's going through a door. I mean, I don't understand why people do this sort of thing. It drives me completely party. And then Brian Bell, no relation to Ian Bell, sent us through a photo of what looks like some dreadful condensate. If those 45s drop down and cause a little trap, then we all know what's going to happen. That condensate is going to freeze with a smooth Chianti. Chris Deakin sent us through an awful photo of a toilet that someone's basically like used loads of sellotape or whatever to do the flush pipe and also the outlet, which is absolutely horrible. And then we've got Chris Loxley. Loxley, what was it? Um, Loxley, I'm gonna gouge your heart out with a spoon. I'm not gonna do that, don't worry, mate. Lovely photo. And also the reason you found out that your shower wasn't working properly and also that the pressure was a bit low. Don't worry, Matt, I know it's not your own work, but you know, we all have to make mistakes sometimes. So find out who that plumber is and go and get them. Anyway, we're coming near to landing, so watch us land in a little plane, and then we'll go back to HQ to review more of the videos with Jack the Woofer. Oh, 
Chris Bush as well at a restaurant. What's your budget for the job? Nah, just put it in black. Speed fit, mate. Oh my god. I mean, look at that. It is awful. I mean, not only is it black speed fit, which doesn't look very nice on a white background or anything like that. In fact, I don't think I've ever even seen black speed fit. Uh, it's not even straight. It's on the wonk, it's on the willy woos, it's on the poo bum, willy guts. This photo is from Georgius Mitropoulos. And I think I've said your name right. But if I haven't, please let us know. I'm hoping, mate, that you're from Greece or somewhere like that and that this photo was actually taken in Greece where it's obviously quite unlikely you're going to get sub-freezing temperatures. But at the same time, this pipe work is still dreadful and well found out there, Georgius. I must say, this pipe work is definitely not Georgius. Graham Jones found a nice funny toilet sign that said, Toilet. I like to eat my toilet. I, I, I toil so hard, I need to eat. Graham Jones wondered where he'd left that screwdriver and there it is. Someone's used it to be the handle on a nice little pull flush. Probably works okay. Probably only going to last like another two years though, looking at the corrosion that's on there. Hey Jack, Squirrel Jack. Jack Bennett came in with one of my favourite pictures of the week. Uh, Jack, this could actually be a contender. I'm thinking I might be sending you a sticker, mate. If you want one, then message us directly. I'll send you one out, bro. Uh, yeah, love this, mate. When well, the job needs to be done and uh, you've got a problem. Uh, what have you got there? Is it a G-clamp with a hammer on it? I mean, where did you leave your silicon gun? Is it behind that kitchen unit that you fitted or in that cupboard of that vanity unit you put in last week? James Cole sent us a few pictures in this week and this is the first one of many, I think. But he got called out to do this radiator job. Look at that mini ball. Number one. Mini ball is awful because the flow rates are so bad. It's always getting sludged up and blocked up if it's not been inhibited properly. And also, it just looks absolutely dire when it comes to installing it. If I ever get the opportunity, and James, I hope you did this, but you took that mini ball back up into the ceiling, put a 15mm to 10mm reducer on it and a straight coupling, and brought it out in 15mm down the wall, made it look absolutely perfect. James Kirby has been watching our videos and he's learned how to do a set there. And look at that, I'm jealous of how shiny his pipe slice is. Uh, James Laynard, this is one of the ones I like the most. Shout on the left is feeding the hot side of the kitchen sink. Black hose is the overflow from the cold water storage tank and the shower on the right is a standard shower. Oh, well, thank God for that. One of my favourites as well, this has been sent in by JDH Plumbing. Can anyone hazard a guess what the f &E system is doing up there? Joe Coates, basically he's got a gutter. We're on the gutter to nowhere. Another one from Joe Coates here. You're never going to pick one of these up off the shelves, I tell you. Why they kept, I mean, they've obviously taken out an old butler sink or something like that and put a normal sink in, but they couldn't be bothered to do any more plumbing work or anything like that and bring taps out actually through the sink. So they put two chrome blank ends on the sink holes for the Dex um, kitchen mixer and basically had those two sticking out there. Terrible job indeed. Lawrence Fox came in and said, who uses silicon here? Oh my days. Obviously I'm sure all you guys are feeling the huge PTFE shortage there is at the moment and no one more so than our man here, Mark Brooker. Mark Cansdale found a load of radiators at real high up. Squirrels Jack. Murray Price found a lovely little bit of Flexi Friday going into this shower here, so that's a bit of a tragedy as well. Paul Marshall sent us through a photo as well, showing that obviously after you've gone for wee-wees, you should wash your hands. But while you're actually going to the toilet, and say this is a kind of, you know, got into your head, then it looks like you might actually wee all over your hands while you're standing at the urinal. Ryan Glean finished his new tap, and then he sent us through a lovely selection of all sorts of photos of the before and after of that particular job. Well done, Ryan. It's glad to see that you're learning the trade and getting it done in the right kind of way. Sam Chelsea Hull wants to know whether we get paid enough for being plumbers. Hey, Sean McGarrett's come in there and found a lovely little bit of Flexi Friday there. I mean, we've got Flexi to a little bit of copper, then back onto Flexi, then back onto copper again, and then back onto copper. Oh my God. Stu Flint has sent this one in. He's like, what's this all about? And I've got to say, it's not the first time I've seen a radiator that's going down the sort of with the gradient of a load of stairs. So that's a bit of a funny one as well. Now, it's either Tony Knipe or Tony Knipe. So I'm going to go with Tony Knipe. Knipe? Hey, Tony. Knipe, how's it going? Knipe, Tony. Tony, Knipe. Tony, how's it going? You're all right, mate. Nice spoiler find there, man. Uh, it's good that you did find it in the end. And I hope when you got up there to sort it out, squirrels, that you needed oxygen to do it. I <laughs> love that dog, he's a legend. Div Spencer's only just started out in the world of plumbing, obviously, and he's really pleased with himself. He fixed a leaky toilet in his first job since starting his course. Thanks for the vids, plumber parts. Mate, no worries for helping. And also, cheers, guys, for all those lovely comments you gave in there on the side. Uh, it's always very encouraging to see that, you know, it's nice to know that some of the plumbers of the future are actually going to be as good as we are. And it's great to know. So there we go. Now, let me just show you exactly what the dog does. Mr. Jack here, when we put his favourite program, Mist Sheepdog Tales, on. So you can see he's looking around already. He's a big fan of this show. Right, get ready, guys. <whistles> So anyway, 
anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's Pond the Parts of Cody UK video. Please do subscribe. Jack's going to love it, especially if he goes after them squirrels all the time. See, he's not even going to look now for the squirrel. Um, so, yeah, please do subscribe. Sheepdog Tales. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in next week's one. We've got loads of stuff coming up. We're doing accumulators. We're doing swimming pool uh, heat exchanges. I'm having trouble thinking about this with the music on in the background. So anyway, keep going, subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video. Remember, send us photos at our plumber parts and our Facebook and our Twitter. Anyway, people, remember everyone to hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice. The lambs have grown into headstrong, unruly teenagers. Come on, baby! See, I won't.